For this recipe, we're doing a hot and sweet potato recipe. Now, the, the hitch is you have to go to my blog to see the hot and sweet sauce that I made because I did not record that. So for this recipe to be complete for you, you have to go to the blog and catch that part and then come and mix it with the potatoes. I've really learned to love pili pili and oh wait, I better not touch my eyes after touching them. Yeah, I've really come to love um, pili pilis. And these two together will be an amazing recipe. So yeah, catch you on the flip side. Okay, I'll give you a little snippet of the recipe. Just follow these four steps and it should be pretty good. Now let's get to it. My potatoes have already been peeled and... Hold on. There we go. Peeled and chopped. And lastly... I have my onions here. These are two large onions, so that's what I'm doing for this recipe. And then I'll show you the spices that I'm going to use in a bit. My oil is getting hot. Okay, our potatoes are frying. In the meantime, I made sure I put, um, I have a bowl on the side that has uh, some paper towels ready for when the potatoes are ready. And we are about to fry our onions and spices together so let's do this okay um the potatoes are almost done so what i'm going to do is get the onions and oil going so that when these are done i take them out Ooh, sorry <laughs> I was, anyway uh, so that when the potatoes are done they're still hot when i put them in there so i need to take them out put them in here and then will transition them into this other pot. So I'm going to get this running first. I've put my spices. Uh, I have soy sauce, black pepper, ground coriander, and garlic salt. I don't want to use normal um, salt for this because I feel like it's such a nice twist to add garlic salt to potatoes rather. Not that. But potatoes, they really go well with garlic sauce. So, yeah, here we go. Yay, they're done. Make sure your potatoes are crunchy when you get them out of the oil. If they are not crunchy, then they tend to lose a lot of the crunchiness once you put them in with the onions. <laughs> the onions are basically ready. I don't want them to be completely cooked. I like them crunchy. Um, I've put the soy sauce, coriander, garlic salt, and black pepper, and now it's time to put the potatoes in. Okay. Just put them in, um, and then the flavors will get to that. so good. Okay, mix it all up, reduce the heat, and then just let the let the flavors marry. It's always tastier when you give them a few minutes. Oh, sorry, still going to be eaten. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just give it a few minutes so they can cook on low heat, and breakfast will be done. Okay, now for the final and best part of the recipe. You see the sweet and sour recipe on my blog? Now this is where it comes in handy. You put a bit of this. We will mix it all up. And serve. They're ready now. Can you see that? Hold up. There we go. It's really... Oh, that tastes really, really nice. Mm. Thank you for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget, for the hot and sweet uh, sauce that I added to the potatoes, go to my blog. 
I will post it this week as well so that I make sure that you have the complete recipe together. And thanks for joining me. I really hope you enjoy the recipes. If you guys have suggestions of other recipes you want me to do, yeah, let me know in the comments. Um, check out some of the recipes in my blog because I know there's some amazing gems in there. I may not have videos for them, but you can enjoy them in written form. <laughs> yeah, like, share, subscribe, and uh, see you on the next video. Ooh.